So guys, I've been using the $200 a month ChatGPT Pro plan and really leveraging some of its new features like O1 Pro and most importantly, deep research. And if you guys aren't familiar, Deep Research is an agent that uses reasoning to synthesize large amounts of online information and complete multi step research tasks for you, and it's going to deliver PhD level quality output. But one of the main problems, like I mentioned, is that it is hidden behind a $200 a month paywall from a closed source company. So over the last five days on this channel, I've gone over different ways on how you can use open source alternatives like open source deep research, another wrapper, which is a GUI interface for open source deep research, web UI, which is made by browser use, which allows you to use any single LLM with deep research. And then Scura is a video that I made yesterday, which is an 100% free deep research alternative where you can literally go to their website right here and perform deep research without having enter in your API keys or even log in. But now there's a new kid on the block that is allowing us to do deep research and guess what? It's 100% for free. Now there are some limitations on the free plan which we'll dive into in just a second but this new player is Perplexity which if you don't know has already been a huge powerhouse when it comes to research and doing queries that pull information from the web. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do deep research with perplexity for free or for only $20 a month on their pro plan, opposed to spending $200 a month with OpenAI's deep research. And we're going to run some different queries, go over some different best practices with perplexity's deep research and run that same deep research with OpenAI's and see how the quality of the output differs. Without ado, guys, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so Perplexity announced this deep research feature about 11 hours ago. So now you can see deep research is available to everyone for free, up to five queries per day for non-subscribers and 500 queries per day for pro users. Now, if you think that's a little bit low for the free plan, let's just do some basic math here, five times 30, which equals 150. And if you're not familiar with OpenAI's deep research, you're actually limited to 100 queries a month. So this actually beats the limitations of OpenAI's just on the free plan. And then on the paid plan, you could actually do up to 15,000 queries every single month with Perplexity's deep research. So very powerful stuff here. So the CEO of Perplexity here talking about deep research is now a commodity thanks to Perplexity. This gentleman is saying, yo, WTF, OpenAI are asking for $200 a month when this Perplexity is giving it away. This is insane. Another deep seek moment. And OpenAI is charging 10 times more than Perplexity's $20 a month, or you can even use it on the free plan, which is pretty cool. And then Perplexity also tweeted out deep research on Perplexity scores 21.1% on humanity's last exam, outperforming Gemini Thinking, O3 Mini, O1, DeepSeek R1, and other top models. We have also optimized deep research for speed. You can see here on this test, we have OpenAI's deep research and then Perplexity's deep research with OpenAI getting about maybe a 26, and then Perplexity getting around maybe a 21, 22. And then you have O3 Mini, High, Medium, R1, O1, uh, and then the rest of the models right here. So they mentioned in addition to attaining high scores on industry benchmarks, deep research on perplexity completes most tasks in under three minutes, and we're working to make it even faster. And yes, I can confirm, like we'll show you in just a second, their deep research is actually very quick. And as you can see here, it performed eight different searches, 25 different steps, 42 different sources. So a lot of different uh, sources that it's pulling for um, from the web, which is nice to see. All right, so all links I cover, guys, in today's video, including the tweets as well as the blog posts and perplexity will be linked down below. So here is the blog post that they actually published right here, introducing deep research, explaining how it works, research with reasoning, report writing, export and share, talking about when to use deep research, um, for different sectors, technology, current affairs, health, biography, travel, going over the different tests right here, simple QA, runtime stat. So all the stuff we mentioned in this blog post, which will be linked down below. Now let's dive into Perplexity's deep research. So first things first, when you come to perplexity.ai, you'll see that you probably don't have deep research on yet. So all you do to get it is you simply click on this drop down and you'll see that you have pro search, deep research. So pro search does three times more sources and detailed answers. Deep research does in-depth reports on complex topics. You also have reasoning with R1 if you guys missed this. Deep, uh, it has R1's reasoning capabilities hosted in the US, which is very powerful. 
and then reasoning with O3 Mini, so OpenAI's newest model reasoning. So these two are very powerful as well, but we're gonna go ahead, of course, and use deep research. Now also too, for the sources right here, you can set different sources. So let's say if we just wanted to do research on something like Reddit right here, so social discussions and options, we could do that. If we wanted to do just academic papers, or you know all across the web blogs whatnot or just if we wanted to do all i'm going to leave them all toggled for now also too guys if you come over here to your settings cog keep in mind that if you are on the pro plan then you can actually change your ai model right here so you could use uh claude sonnet 3.5 you could use gpt 4.0 grok 2 gemini 2.0 flash a perplexity sonar or auto so we'll just keep it at claude sonnet 3.5 here all right so we got our first query right here and i'm actually just going to toggle off social for this one just because i tend to find when you have this toggled on you're going to get a lot of different reddit citations opposed to actual blogs and articles and whatnot so our query here is perplexity's new deep research versus open ai's deep research an in-depth comparison pros versus cons what one is better why you may want to use one or the other $200 per month versus $20 per month or free and more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on search here. Okay, so you can see that it's actually going about doing its research plan right here. So I need to search the web to find comparative information between Perplexity's new deep research and OpenAI's deep research. So we can see that it's generating different search queries right here. So Perplexity deep research versus OpenAI's deep research. And then it's reading different blog posts and different information on the web here. So then it's doing another step right here. So we can see here from previous search, I found general comparisons between perplexity and open AI. And as you can see, you could go ahead and read through this. These are its learnings that it's getting from the previous search. And then it's doing other searches based on those learnings and what it needs to get uh, reading more information, doing another step right here. And continuously on doing another step and another step right now until it actually ends up completing the deep research. So you could also enable desktop notifications to get a notification when it's done, but we're gonna go ahead and wait here. Now, while this is actually going and we're waiting for it to finish, I'm gonna do the exact same query on OpenAI's deep research. So I'm gonna go to OpenAI here. We're gonna use O3 mini high for the model. And of course we're toggling on deep research and I'm just gonna paste in this exact same prompt. Now we're gonna click send here. And the one thing that I will say that OpenAI's deep research does, and some of the other open source ones that I've covered on the channel do as well, is when you actually initially query it, it's gonna ask you some follow-up questions. And personally, I really like this because it allows you to provide more context to the deep research to get the best quality output. All right, so it's actually asking me what specific aspects do we want to cover in this comparison? And it's giving me some different examples like accuracy and depth, speed, user interface and ease of use. I'm just gonna say cover all of that and more. There's a bunch here. So I really wanna showcase how powerful deep research is. So now we can see that OpenAI's deep research has started. And now we can go back over to Perplexity and we can see that its deep research has complete. So if we toggle these down, we can see that it took, let's see, it took a bunch of different steps here, like one, two, three, nine, 10, 11. So 11 different steps. And then it started writing its research report here. So we can see 53 different sources. This is a lot of different sources it pulled from. And Perplexity has always been very strong when it comes to actually research. And we can see here comparative analysis of Perplexity's deep research and OpenAI's deep research capabilities, costs, and strategic application. All right, I'm not going to read through this all, of course. We can see executive summary right here, accuracy and benchmarks, so, so benchmark results, technical capabilities right here, features and functionality research workflows so we can see a table comparison chart right here going over model architecture source integration output format customization one thing i will say with OpenAI's deep research is that you can use the o3 model which is in my opinion a lot more powerful than these models right here so you're technically you should get a better output and then source integration so 100 plus sources per query academic heavy and then perplexity 50 plus sources uh, including real time and forms and then output format so with opening eyes structured reports with charts citations perplexities concise summaries with inline citations and then customization limited preset templates with perplexities file uploads model switching api access yeah now unfortunately looking at perplexities docs they just include chat completions within 
uh, the API from what I can see. So it doesn't look like you can do deep research, which would be cool if they allowed that through the API. I think that would be cool for both tools. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. All right, so cost efficiency analysis, use case suitability for academic research, professional environments, casual use, limitations and trade-offs conclusion this deep research says the conclusion is open ai if your work demands rigorous accuracy academic publishing legal analysis and then budget permits 200 dollars a month for 100 high state queries and then choose perplexity if speed and cost efficiency are priorities like startups journalists tasks involve real-time data and then customization model switching etc now, if we copy the perplexity output here and paste it over here, we can see that it got 682 words, so 5,450 characters. And from what I can see, unfortunately, I don't think it shows you how long the deep research took. But just to give you an estimate, I would say it took around three to five minutes. Now, OpenAI's will show you how long it took. And looking back here, we can see that it is still doing its deep research right here. And it already has 19 sources. So it seems like it pulls a lot less sources typically, but it's going to be a lot more in-depth. Okay, and boom, it is now complete. We can see that it took eight minutes and did 19 different sources. So we can see perplexity deep research versus open AI deep research, a comprehensive comparison. It has a table chart right here going over way more details such as accuracy, depth, speed, user interface, query handling, cost and access, sources and citations, best use cases, AI capabilities, limitations, unique features. And then each one of those has an individual long section with a bunch of different sources, as you can see here. So it goes over a lot of different info. I'm just scrolling very quickly, as you can see. Okay, and then at the very end, a pros and cons summary. So it goes over different things as well, going over the pros, the cons for each specific one. And then a conclusion for which platform you should choose. So of course, this is a lot more in depth. If we go ahead and paste this over here, we can see that this whole entire report is 13,176 words and 84,681 characters. All right, guys, so I put together this doc right here, which has the output of the perplexity right here for deep research, as you can see, very short and brief, and then the output for the OpenAI deep research, very long, very in-depth. So I do think both these tools are really great and do have obviously their specific use cases. Of course, if you can't afford or don't want to pay $200 per month, I think the perplexity free or $20 a month plan is something that is really good and powerful. Of course, if you want really deep, intricate research around a specific topic or domain, I think you really can't be open AI's deep research at the moment. Even after doing a video on pretty much every deep research tool or open deep research tool, I can definitely say open AI's is definitely the strongest. But at the same time, you only get 100 queries per month. You don't always need something that is super super powerful and phd level quality so perplexity gives you a lot more searches and is going to be shorter and more concise even though it is getting a bunch of different sources and i think that it's great that we're seeing more and more different companies or different projects come out with deep research because i've been using deep research these last couple of weeks and it is super super powerful and honestly game changing so I hope you guys are using it too. If so, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below between what is the ultimate deep research companion? Is it OpenAI's $200 a month plan or is it Perplexity's free or $20 a month plan? Or is it some of the open source ones that I've covered on this channel? And if you haven't seen those, I definitely recommend checking those other videos out. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're new here, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI agents, AI coding, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment, down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads also too guys if you haven't already joined our free community try community.com for our free Facebook group and discord channel check the link down below and then also too guys join our separate community the stride ai academy currently it is 100 for free for behind the scenes resources templates tools trainings and a bunch of other cool stuff 
Also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents or custom AI growth solutions into your business, book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not. We help businesses implement things like AI cold callers, AI workflows, automations, a bunch of cool stuff. And then also too, guys, if you're a dev, an entrepreneur, a founder, whatever the case is, and you want to sell these same AI solutions to other businesses and you want our exact protocol on how you can do this and make two to 10 K plus, then book a call down below as well. And we can see if it's a good fit to work together or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care, guys.